Hi, my name is Brandon Klump. I'm the clinical director at Orthopedic Rehab Specialist Foot, Ankle, and Running Center. Today I want to just talk to you a little bit about what Grafton treatment is. It's an implement-assisted soft tissue mobilization. We utilize it on a wide variety of patients. Pretty much any time there's soft tissue restriction, there's range of motion limits, or um, we just need to decrease the tension in the tissue. This is a great treatment option to get blood flow, loosen up the tissues, and try to improve mobility so that we can work um, in, in a new range of motion. We always have to start with making sure there's something so that it slides over the skin, some sort of a lubricant that makes it much more tolerable for the patient. And the idea is our soft tissues need to slide and glide past each other. And we're just trying to make sure there's no restrictions between those layers. Today what I'm going to be working on is on her calf and Achilles complex. We're working again on loosening up the restrictions, gastroc, soleus, and the surrounding tissue. Again, to increase blood flow, decrease any restrictions to uh, the movement, and uh, basically help her improve her mobility. And in just a second, I'm going to use a little bit different tool to get in and work specifically around that Achilles. So I'll switch now and I'll work where I can kind of get in into that Achilles where it attaches into the bursa, where they kind of come together. That's a really common point, especially with people dealing with chronic inflammation, chronic conditions, that it really tends to, tends to get bound up there. And again, as we get into this tool that kind of hooks in that space, we really start to feel that restriction at the musculotendinous junction and you can kind of see the reddening area widening a little bit. That just shows um, that we're using a more focused tool and that we're really getting more to the source of her restrictions. And so that would be a normal treatment session. And usually what we would do from here is work into some range of motion exercises, some stretching, and some strengthening to utilize that new range of motion.